Wow, what a view. Monty and I are absolutely loving it. This is the Pasterz Glacier in Austria. Um, up behind us there in the cloud is Gross Glockner. Austria's highest mountain. Oh, you don't want to be up here, Monty. Never mind. He wants to go and walk up the glacier himself. Anyway, it's right at the end of the day here. There's no one else around. The weather's been absolutely atrocious, but finally the mountains have revealed themselves. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. I'm using the 70 to 200 to get the shot that I want on this, but I'm actually having to pull it all the way back out to 70 mil. It's just such a, a huge vista. <coughs> I'm gonna be shooting at about F8 or F10. Um, I might even go to F11, sharpness heaven, um, to try and get this in. But um, yeah, beautiful, absolutely fantastic. The weight has been worth it. Let's try and see if this comes out. Okay, review the image. It's looking sharp. Boom! Yes! Yes, Monty! Yes! Oh, it's a good one. Is that a good one? Again, he says it's a good one. Oh, woo! Boom! Wow, what an absolutely fantastic end to the day this is. I'm on top of the Edelweiss Spitzer, which is about 2,600 meters high. Now, it's very close to, um, very close to the solstice at the minute, and um, it's still about six degrees up at the top here. It's pretty cold. In a few days time, I've got a couple of nights in a refugio that's a, at um, roughly the, the same altitude. So um, this has been a, a, a sobering reminder that I need to um, definitely take this with me once we start hiking up from the valley in 25, 30 degree heat. It's gonna be pretty cold at the top. Anyway, so um, I can't remember what these mountains are called. Uh, if, uh, if I ever mind to, I'll put it up uh, just here um, on, the, on the vlog once I edit it. But, um, but it's absolutely gorgeous. I think tonight um, the light isn't absolutely spectacular and there isn't a lot going on in the sky. So uh, in these conditions, um, it's a case of trying to pick, pick out details that are quite interesting. Um, pick out the extraordinary out of the ordinary, as it were. Um, so I'm going along with a 70 to 200, um, and I'll be focusing in on uh, on some of these things, some of these details uh, in here, basically, or following this ridge line, uh, that kind of that kind of thing. If you look behind me, now you'll see that there's a there's the little visitor centre shop. Um, there's this mountain here, and behind there is Gross Glockner, which is where what we were uh, looking at a little bit earlier. Um, and then down here, in that valley there, there's a little lake. Not so little, actually. That's Zelanzé. 
Um, and it's rather nice down there. There's a little some um, some cloudage hill fog going on. Um, so uh, yeah, probably uh, try and focus in and uh, focus in on some of um, some of that. But yeah, very pleasant end to uh, the day. I was up here about um, three or four hours ago, and it wasn't quite so pleasant. It was pretty horrific actually. Um, but um, but yeah, sometimes you just got to persevere. Eh? now left Austria and we've come to the Dolomites. I can't believe in all, I mean I've been to Italy many times over the years as a kid and as an adult but I've never actually been to the Dolomites. Um, so uh, really trying to take advantage of this trip and we come to uh, the Trecimi de Lavredo I think it is. Trecimi de Lavredo, which are probably the most infamous um, mountains in the Dolomites and the most recognizable. Now, um, unfortunately, there was I had a bit of a hiccup after we left the, the glacier yesterday. Um, we went to the Edelweiss Spitzer, um, to the top of there, to the viewing point. Um, and had some absolutely lovely conditions um, but unfortunately the video didn't work the audio worked I've got all the audio but um, it's pointless pointless without the video but um, this place is making up for that small error and oh my god um, we're doing a walk around the mountains I think it's about eight kilometers something like that we've set off quite late don't expect to get back to the van until after dark but even so it's taken longer than expected because every five yards there is a composition um, because the weather is being outstanding absolutely stunning as you can see now Whew. well no sooner as I, uh, no sooner had I stopped recording, I came round the corner. And when I say they're being absolutely stunning, check it out. Woo! 
let's just move the camera around. Look at that. And then there's loads of this stuff going on. Why don't you um, let him off? Hey, he well, we'll try and stop him. Sorry about that. Monty is being a little bugger today. Um, he's already run off um, at least half a mile, halfway down the mountain and back. Um, he got sent to something. Now he's normally pretty good. He normally, we keep him under quite close control, but so occasionally, you know, he's been cooped up in the van. He's got a lot of energy. He was off like a rocket. And there he goes. Anyway. Woo. What an absolutely stunning place this is. I'm gonna try and get some nice photos for you. This place is absolutely stunning. I mean, I knew it was gonna be good before I came, but um, this atmospheric weather um, is absolutely spot on. There's no real light to speak of, but you don't need it if you can get a nice composition. Um, and, uh, I'm actually pretty much face on to the uh, to the to the to the mountains here. I took a shot from over there. It was a little bit um, more of an angle, which suited a portrait image more. But now that I'm um, right straight onto it, uh, I'm looking at a landscape. Now I don't really shoot landscape port uh, landscape orientation images these days, but occasionally I will do, uh, and I'll do it, or I'll do a, a panorama. But um, yeah, it all feels a little bit alien. Um, but anyway, I've got quite a nice little composition here. There's a tree over on the right hand side and then there's a, an arrangement of rocks here and then there's these, um, uh, this evergreen bush, fern thing, whatever it, it is that's going on here. Um, but yeah, and the, uh, and the sky is quite moody. So once this is post-processed, I think it might be quite nice. Uh, I'll just show you on the back of the screen what's going on. And while I was turning the screen around, a big rock just fell down from the mountain. These, the Dolomites are really new mountains, geologically speaking, and they're quite, they're still quite brittle. They haven't, um, they haven't been weathered like the rest of the Alps yet. Uh, well, they've been weathered, but not as much. Um, so uh, yeah, I think uh, there's more risk of rock fall and things um, here. But anyway, here's my, um, here's my little comp shooting uh, F11. I'm on manual, um, looking at a 15th of a second uh, exposure time. Um, I'm just shooting a little bit to the left. I'll be able to bring out uh, bring out the detail in these shadows here, but I want to. I'm not uh, choosing not to use um, filters because I don't want to darken the tops of the mountains here. But I'll be able to pro post process that and pull back some of the uh, the detail in the sky. Anyway, uh, ISO 100, and um, I'm about to run out of battery. There we go. Let's see. I'll just go for a bracket. And there's a bit of blue sky over on the left as well. Um, see what that looks like. And yeah, it's not too bad. Might be all right. Quite happy with that.
Okay, heart stopping moment almost. Um, so uh, Lisa and I got halfway round the uh, uh, 105 route uh, around the Tre Chime when I thought, you know what, the wind's dropped. I'll get the drone out. Um, yeah, bit of a problem there. The drone was in the bag, but the controller wasn't. And I was absolutely sure I packed that, dr that, that controller. Um, so uh, yeah, it must have fallen out of my bag. Uh, well, it did fall out of my bag, basically. Um, so uh, started to hot foot it back along the trail, retracing all my steps, and uh, came across two uh, Japanese gentlemen who were taking photos, and uh, asked them, and um, yeah, one of them had seen it by the side of the trail. Um, hadn't picked it up, hadn't nicked it or anything like that, which is nice. Um, told me kind of where it was. Had to run all the way back and uh, and there it was on the trail. So I've got the controller, thank God. Um, but unfortunately the wind's picked up so I can't get the drone footage I wanted to get. But what I can get is some nice long shots of this going on. Um, so uh, I'm... Uh, just setting up the uh, 70 to 200. Um, let's turn it around because the cloud's gone across the composition I was going to take. Um, now I'm going to get this composition here. Let's try and get this going. Turn the bloody thing on. Uh, and ah, oh, how annoying. Um, Sony eyepiece sensors get a little bit of moisture on them and they stop working and it thinks that you've got your your eyes to the uh, to the sensor okay right let's flip this around here's my uh, here's what I'm gonna do right so I've got a no I'm using a, a geared head here the hybrid piece the Arca Swiss P0 hybrid um, what this is really good at is, you see it's not level at the minute. Well, I can just finally adjust that. And there we go, green lights. Um, and it's level. Okay. Uh, let's uh, zoom in on that, make sure that is in focus. And uh, yeah, now look, 61 meters. My, uh, my lens needs recalibrating, which is a bit of a bugger. Um, so I have to do everything visually. I can't use the distance meter in, uh, the electronic distance meter in on the, uh, on the lens itself. Okay, so, God, the light is changing all the time. Um, let's go for slightly, slightly under. So, I'm gonna take a, ver a vertical pano, okay, see? This here, and I'm turning the little knob there, up and down. When you're doing this, you want to take a photo of the area that's got the most dynamic uh, movement in it, which in this case is the clouds. Get that first, okay. Then we pull it down. I'm not going to review it, I know where it is. Next shot, shooting at F8. And I want this nice little ridge in the foreground here. Pull that right down, get as much of that as I can. And uh, Bob's your uncle. And uh, stitch that in Lightroom. And uh, you've got roughly a 100 megapixel stitch pano portrait going on. There we go. Yeah. 